These are the most haunted schools around Singapore. CHIJ St. Nicholas Girls School There's a pond in school where a group of students were playing follow the leader or caterpillar. The girls are lined up, blindfolded and made to hold the shoulders of the person in front. After the game, a girl was missing and was eventually found back at the pond, still playing the game by herself. She believed she was still holding onto someone's shoulders. St. Patrick's School Having been built before World War II, it was used as a hospital and an administrative building during the war. The armory was a dumping ground for bodies, leaving the place severely haunted. Legend has it that it took a combined effort from holy men of various religions to cleanse and seal the room. Singapore Polytechnic Stories say that the red bridge was painted red because the bloodstains resulting from a suicide couldn't be washed off. In fact, it is rumored that some of the stains make an reappearance from time to time. Also, if you take a look at the map of the school, block T13 is conspicuously missing. Reasons behind its omission are unknown. However, seeing as the number 13 is such an ominous number, it has set alarm bells ringing among supernatural enthusiasts. Canberra Secondary School a group of student counselors reportedly heard crying noises in the room formerly called the science studio down the hall. Knocking on both doors in attempt to find out who was in the room yielded no response. Alas, a teacher was called in to unlock the door, looking visibly flustered upon arrival as if he already suspected the source of the sobbing. It turns out the room was empty upon entry. Hai Sing Secondary School The most famous story was the reports of the statue of Mother Mary within the school compounds, shedding tears of blood at night. Some even recounted that the statue comes to live at night, roaming the school compounds. Outram Secondary School The female toilet on the swimming pool was haunted by a girl who committed suicide by drowning. Students have also reported the feeling of their feet being tugged as if Someone was grabbing onto them for help. Clementi Town Secondary School The DMT room was claimed to be haunted by a disembodied head from a student who died in a workshop accident. So always pay special attention in a place full of dangerous tools, kids. Temasek Polytechnic The ITAS block is reportedly haunted by a spirit that enjoys scaring its occupants by singing old Chinese classics. Perhaps in search of an audience. Doesn't sound too bad if you put it that way. Nanyang Polytechnic Block K Health and Life Science Department 
was reportedly haunted by dummies that come alive at night to roam the compounds. Just like night at the museum, you say. Except with less laughing your pants off and more soiling it. Furthermore, the secluded lift on Block K has a tendency to stop at the third floor of the build where real dead bodies are stored for research. Nian Polytechnic Nian Polytechnic's Blocks 50, 51, 52 was reportedly wrought with hauntings, from the usual restless toilet spirits to the presence of blood stains situated on the infamous night floor. The most common theory to the cause of the hauntings was the Nghi and Poli was built on bunkers that littered the hilly terrain. One of the workshops in the campus was also scene of the freak accident where a girl died after her hair got caught in one of the machineries. In addition, it was claimed that you can hear screams from the workshop if you happen to pass by its proximity. Hua Chong Institution Refrain from shining your torchlights on treetops at night because you might just be greeted by bodies of those murdered and then hung by the Japanese during World War II. The statues erected in the school are also reportedly haunted. If you walk behind the statue of Tan Ka Ki at midnight, it has been known to turn around asking for the time. Besides that, the emerald eyes adoring the statue of Li Kong Chan glows an eerie green. The eyes were covered now, but some of the ghostly light still escapes through the cracks. It was also mentioned that they only use one of their four flagpoles at the field, because the three flagpoles symbolize the just ticks to please the spirits. Word has it, the field used to be shaped like a tombstone. Perhaps that is why. Anglo-Chinese School The clock tower allegedly hunted by the restless spirit of a boy who took a deadly plunge into the gears of the fixture. Supernatural possessions are also claimed to be common occurrence in the school. Tampine Secondary School A tragic incident is thought to be the source of the school haunting. A girl was raped by a construction worker during its constructions in the 80s and now her restless spirit haunts the compounds of the school. Loyang Secondary School The lights of the female toilets on the fourth floor are left on for 24 hours due to it being haunted. Bukit Tima Primary School As recounted by one of the teachers, an angry spirit of a Japanese soldier once burst into one of the corner classrooms, then Bukit Bato Primary School, located right beside a forested area when the class was in session. Needless to say, Many pupils were traumatized by the event. It is said that this harrowing event was swept under the rug for the mental well-being of other pupils in the school 
but it has become a legend. Raffles Institution In the senior block where the science lab is located, jars of preserved specimen are stored. One of the specimen was that of a fetus. Word is, the possessed fetus flies around the proximity, calling out your name like a horror mashup of Cupid and a toil. Turning around to heed the call of the fetus was considered a bad idea, as unknown terrible repercussions await those who do. Catholic High School Someone had entered the school compounds to have a bit of a kickabout, but was kicked off by a bearded old man commanding him to leave the premises. He then promptly left the compounds of the school to return another day, only to find out that bearded old man was actually the school's late founder. Chung Cheng Hai, Main Brunch About a decade ago, a student was left locked in the basement of the main building while playing hide and seek. After his seekers weren't able to find him, it was a Friday. Monday came, and he was found dead, leaving blood stains all over the walls. Since then, the basement is now locked at 8 p.m. Woodlands Primary School a student was crying and screaming down the corridor with her hands covering her face. When the teacher came to her aid, she dropped her hands, revealing her eyes which were rolled up and only her whites showing apparently. She had seen an old man beckoning to her. NTU Nanyang Technological University According to student sources, there has been an unnatural death in the campus every year since 2007. Malan Road holding site, multiple schools. The old holding site at Malland Road was a temporary home for several schools before their move to a new location. Horror stories plagued the vicinity, with sightings concentrated at the old chapel, remodeled as a makeshift lecture room. Considering the cramped corridors with oddly placed locked doors three feet above ground and a dimly lit arch room. The chapel brings goosebumps to anyone who dares to wander alone. A female student seated alone in one of the lecture rooms once observed someone fiddling with the doorknob but peering out of the windows no person was in sight. I pray these lingering lost souls will finally find their peace. These are the most haunted schools in Singapore.